Hello everyone, Chris Williams here with Suzuki and Weisco for a piston rebuild. We have a stock 12.5 to 1 ratio piston and what we have going in is a 14.1 elite piston for a 2020 RMZ 450. And if it is a 250, we will put a 14.5 elite piston into the 250. This video is an example video for those tearing their motors apart and act as an imperfect guide. With my father doing the breakdown of the. So the first thing right now, we need to drain the oil. This is, you gotta disconnect the, the fuel tank and you have to unplug it from the bottom for the electrical and you gotta unplug it from the gas line. It's a, you just very carefully pull this out, or if you have to, clean that all out. Those, you don't wanna try to replace one of them clips. This is the picture of the plug, this is the picture of the release here's a picture of, of how that clip it's very important not to break that clip Continue disassembling the right side of the bike. There's a gasket right there. That's what you're trying not to damage on the stock exhaust. Sometimes this ring that's kind of stuck in there, good. But if it were to fall out, you have to put that in there as a little gasket for the exhaust. to unplug the back sensor. Um, I'll just do that right now. Before you disassemble anything, you want the cams timed to the crank. And how you do that, there's that plug, you take a plug off here, plug off here. You put a 17 millimeter socket on. You can turn it, it's, it's pretty hard 
it's, it's tight so you just do it by hand no impact and you can turn it counterclockwise that's the rotation of the motor and while you're doing that you look for looking for a little inside here the, you turn the crank and you line the two line to line it up. There's this is a four stroke, so you got every other time it's going to it, it, combustion is going to explode. So when you first time you go around, you line that up and you look up here. And I turn this all the way around once. You want the dots up here and the dots lined with the surface, and that's the way it'll be in the manual. A dot there. A dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. The other way, if you turn it around the other way, these dots will be misaligned. So then you know that's that is not on a compression stroke. This right here is on the compression stroke. So again, that dot there, 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 there. That's the way you'd like to take it apart. That way you know where everything's at and where the crank the where the crank crankcase is set. If it gets moved, you still need you need to be able to put it back. To that same rotation otherwise uh, the cams will be out of time and the ignition won't know where it's at because ignition's, ignition's coming off of a uh, positioning sensor so this is this is where you want it now you can now we can start uh, disassembling it more okay um, okay now that I got the timing on here the next step is to back off there is a tensioner in here and that's what keeps this chain see how it's I'm pushing it it's actually moving that tensioner so we have to loosen that up. So I'll I'll remove this tensioner, and this is how I just crack that loose. I'll get these loose, and then I'll and then I'll uh, disassemble that. What I just did is I, I I took I loosened up one and you just set it off to the side. Okay. Do not get the cams mixed up. <laughs> you gotta put the right one to the front. I don't want it anywhere. Okay. And so these are the tappets, these are the valves. You don't you don't have to touch any of this this little gasket we're just going to leave all this stuff alone and down here you got the bolts and we're going to loosen up in the two bolts there two bolts there and we're going to loosen up the head see so make sure you make sure they're completely so, trying to get the last little bolt out like i say a a, a, a stronger magnet would help this routine a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna play a little bit of games. I may end up having to uh, pull this up a little bit. And don't drop it down there. And I, st I see that the little gasket came loose. The gasket I just popped off of there goes in here. You could probably pop it back in. But when you go to put it back together, make sure it didn't drop on the floor. So 
over. I try to twist it. It's a tight fit, but it works. And uh, here we go. This I was supposed to have. Uh, I didn't recognize. You got to make sure that you don't lose these, which I did drop. And so we'll find it. But these pieces right here, like this one right there, that goes in here. And I believe I dropped it as I, I slid it as I took it off. But those are important. Here. Get something. This is going to be real thick paper towels, not regular ones. And you do this around this, and chances are you'll get lucky enough and you won't drop the circlip in there when you're changing the piston out. If you try it without, I don't know, depending on your luck, you're probably going to drop the circlip. The circlip is right here. And we'll have to pick that out. I'm going to try to do that with a, a little baby screwdriver because I, lo I left my picks. Just to push this out without a puller, but we'll see. Okay, they sell a puller for this. I just took the right size socket and push from the back side. And you may, you may have to tap on a little bit. Sometimes they push right out. Biggest thing is not to force anything to, you know, everything's gotta be very careful. There's a little bit of permatex right there. That's from the factory. Right there. How often you see that? Those, uh, we'll scrape that off, but that's just a little bit of, little bit of sealant. So that was from the factory. This has never been apart. So this is the OEM piston. You got the dots, similar to, oh, arrow, it's like a two-stroke. These are arrow sensitive, so that goes to the exhaust. 